Hello, my soccer universe. I'm getting there. Feeling slightly better. Uh, yesterday I was really mostly sleeping. And yeah, today I feel a little bit more normal. And hey, I even took a shower. Everything's going upward. I hope it will continue that. For that reason, I also didn't watch too much of the Champions League yesterday. And of course, the fun game that I really hoped to watch wasn't available, uh, which was Tottenham against Dortmund. Um, which, yeah, I'm not sure if it held what I had, what it's promised. Uh, the first half, from what I could gather from, you know, not only uh, watching highlights, but I read up a little bit, listened to a few things. First half was kind of even with a slight advantage Dortmund, but um, that, uh, Tottenham basically gave Dortmund a little bit too much space. Uh, didn't press too high and let them um, roam a little bit. And yeah, Dortmund had their chances. Um, I think the biggest one was by uh, Sanogo. What's his name? Sagadu. Sagadu. So, uh, who had a <laughs> free header, but uh, there was the defender there. Uh, at the half, Tottenham seemingly made the switch. They pressed a little bit higher. And also, uh, now the uh, back three was very well supported by, by, the, by the two wingers, and that played immediate dividends. Uh, the higher press, um, the uh, Dortmund lost the ball. The ball comes to Vertonghen, who uh, cro makes a cross in, a really nice cross, and there's Son free, putting it in the net. And we already know that Son is the leading light for uh, Spurs at the moment. 1-0, and I played right into the cards of Tottenham, who uh, at that point uh, could again a little bit give the initiative back to Dortmund, who needed to get more and more uh, offensive, but due to the high press, uh, it was more or less Tottenham controlling the game and having chances, and it uh, paid off again uh, in a late when uh, Dortmund basically got too much out and a nice cross in and Vertonghen um, slots it home and if you see the replay he at first is offside runs all the way back sees where the, where the ball is waves and goes in front puts it in uh, was a really nice move uh, on his part and yeah Tunnel Tottenham that, would have, that was already a really nice result for them but it got even better uh, because uh, a few minutes later on the corner, corner kick, uh, Llorente, of all people, heads it home. And it's 3-0 Tottenham. Uh, Dortmund had a small chance in stoppage time, but uh, couldn't convert it, so it's 3-0. That's kind of unexpected to me, but yeah, that's why the Tottenham shirt is there. I Again, I know I changed kills, and, 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 and that's all that I want to Stay with my long sleeves now. I'm still a little bit coldish. And the other shirt that is there, you see, of course, is the Real Madrid shirt. And boy, were they lucky. <laughs> um, I saw the second, most of the second half. And it was always said in the commentary, uh, when I started, yeah, Real Madrid finally gets a little bit the ball. There's a, the, a, a first real long uh, possession phase. Ajax is pressing, cannot be as high anymore. And yes, when you see the highlights and when you read a little bit and so on, uh, Ajax was insanely pressing on Real Madrid in the first half. Real Madrid didn't get a foot on the field and was lucky to escape uh, with a nil-nil draw at halftime. There was... Uh, shot by Tadic that hit the bar, there were uh, other chances that there was the 1-0 scored but was taken away by VAR, to my knowledge, not 100% to my knowledge, first time that VAR uh, took away a goal in the Champions League. Um, and yes, uh, Tadic was offside right there, at <coughs> right there with um, the goalkeeper, Courtois, so yeah. It hurts me because I honestly don't think that he was that disruptive, but I know that's the rule and you cannot be there. So yeah, 
Ajax very unlucky to be only uh, a nil nil, and then you know Madrid. They are just they have so much experience and are cold blooded, and that's exactly how I would describe uh, the first goal. Uh, 60th minute, Vinicius Jr. comes along, cuts into the box. Suddenly Benzema separated himself very nicely. Vinicius Jr. is just taking enough time to get him into a nice position, makes the pass, and he slots it home, and it's 1-0 Real Madrid. And honestly, if I wouldn't have had the, heard the comments before, I said, okay, finally Real Madrid broke through. Uh, it's what what I was expecting all the way. I really... Although Ajax and Real Madrid is probably, uh, from the names, more or less the glamour matchup. I mean, those are two of the biggest names in Europe. Ajax, unfortunately, is not Ajax anymore. Um, it hurts. It really hurts because the Dutch league and uh, especially Ajax, Feyenoord, PSV, those should also be great teams all the time. And we can go to Belgium, we can go to other... Uh, we can. You know, more so than the French teams, to be honest. Uh, I even always look at the Scottish teams. Uh, the two big guys, they should also feature more heavily. Uh, you know, it's just that the difference between the top four leagues and the rest is so huge that you would say oh, that's a foregone conclusion. But Ajax really gave them a hard time. And Ajax actually was on a rough patch in the league as well. So um, for that reason, I didn't expect much. But uh, the game, in a way, profited from it. Because it became a wild game. Ajax uh, didn't have this high press anymore. Uh, but you, you could see that this is a team that's really playing nice football. Um, more, lots of short uh, one-touch passes going forward. Uh and they finally got their payoff with a really nice attacking move. Maybe there was a little foul on there before. I wouldn't have given it. Uh, that see it slopped home. And 1-1 one, one would have been a very well-deserved result. And I was actually hoping that at least this way, uh, if it doesn't get worse, uh, it will end. Um, of course not. Ajax, I think, was possessed. I mean, you could see that after the goal, I thought that Ajax will not go for the uh, kill. But it was actually Real Madrid, and uh, in particular Asensio, who came on, uh, who tried to get uh, the winner. But just just at the moment, when I thought Ajax had uh, taken off the pressure a little bit from those um, attacks. At that moment, Asensio strikes, and um, it was a contagious goal. First, 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 everything I heard. Uh, no one blames the goalkeeper. I think the way Onana is. Uh, jumping through the box uh, and not getting to the uh, ball uh, was already pretty bad. And the sense you can slow slide home. Of course, Frankie de Jong in the middle of the park was held back. Uh, but honestly, you know, he would not have gotten there. I understand that. Uh, I understand him that the ref lets this run, and maybe he should have uh, maybe afterwards give the yellow card to the guy, but you know, let, let the goal stand. Uh, since I'm also an American football fan, I can tell you, even if something like that happens, they blow the, uh, the play dead and it's taken away. So uh, that's what makes it for me a little bit unusual to watch. But of course, the goal stood. Uh, Dolbeck had one last chance where he just couldn't get his foot nicely on it. And so, yeah, I think a, two, a draw, Ajax would have really deserved a draw at least, if not the win. And, but Real Madrid is Real Madrid. The big, bad Real Madrid dragon, and they, they will be a tough out for anyone. I think no one, absolutely no one wants to play Real Madrid uh, at the moment. So I'm very curious how this will go. Um, they will make another quarterfinal. Ajax needs to score two goals in Madrid. I'm not sure that they're going to do that. I'm sorry to say. But that's the reason I have those two jerseys there. I think both are really nice jerseys, though, I have to say. But I would have loved to have the Ajax jersey there. Uh, especially since the connection. Um, if you don't know, both Ajax and Tottenham are 
not historically, but they uh, have this Jewish identity to them that kind of connects them. Uh, a few teams in Europe that have this, uh, that are actually proud of having uh, this Jewish connection. So I uh, think that's, that's one of the more interesting things uh, among uh, Spurs, Ajax, to a certain degree Austria, Wien, I know, although they are kind of all, all, all a, little, a, little, a little bit on the edge. Uh, we can do another video on that. Uh, it's uh, it's quite interesting, I gotta say. Anyway, so, and I'm sorry, uh, yesterday I should have not only hung PSG, but also Roma. Uh, I don't know why. It looks really nice this way. I hope you liked my uh, England shirt, the new one that I did in honor of Gordon Banks. Uh, and yeah, let me know about the teams, uh, 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 about the games you saw. You see, I'm <laughs> still not thinking straight. So we have, I think PSG is through. Roma, Porto will be a tight one, and I actually am looking forward, uh, forward watching that one. Uh, I think that Tottenham looks like they're through, and Real Madrid also. So yeah, uh, let's see next week. I won't have for many games the shirts hanging there. Again, let me know what you thought about the games yesterday, uh, where you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon, and hopefully I will feel even better then. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.